So it's two days after I posted the last video and uh, I've made a start. This board used to be the storage tracks board so I've removed all of the track. It's very difficult even though it's only pinned down getting some of the track off and uh, I think there's going to be some losses in the curved track. Um, quite a bit of it was tarnished anyway. But I will be saving obviously the points Although I haven't said that, I did break one, taking it out, so as far as possible I want to save the points, far too expensive. And uh, I've got a lot of the DCC concept point motors as well. So it begins. Uh, I'm also shooting on the iPhone as well, just for quickness and simplicity. I'll get this out of the way. And then I'm going to start removing the track from the station area, which is under here. One last look at the station before it's dismantled. It's really quite a nice design when it's uh, clear. It hasn't been clear for so long. It's nice to see it again one more time before uh, I take it to bits. As I said, really long time ago now, it's based on a silver freezer design which is slightly modified. A few minutes later and it's done. Didn't take long at all actually. So all the points are gone. Got a pile of points. One curved point didn't make it, but it was uh, it was already damaged actually. It was partially glued in place to help it work. Didn't manage to get that up successfully. So now that all the points are gone, all I've got left is track. I'll rescue as much as I can and then uh, take the best boards out. It's just about all out now. Started to pack away some of the locals in the cabinet, but uh, all the baseboard is up. Massive pile. I did manage to save some track, not all of it. There's a lot of rubbish to get rid of. So, from this point on, I'm actually commentating after we've moved. And the rest of the video is actually voiceover because it just worked out easier that way. And this is actually the last shot of video of the old railway room in the attic before we moved. Now we did think we'd actually move just after Christmas, but it turned out for one thing and another we didn't actually move until the 30th of April. So one of the first things I decided to do was to put a loft hatch in the loft regardless of whether I'm going to use the loft space or not because the hatch was absolutely tiny could barely fit through so I got this really nice loft ladder and I uh, installed it one morning and this is what it looks like it wasn't too bad to install the hardest bit was actually making the hole in the loft bigger but the loft ladder itself was, uh, was great a lot of separate parts but it's, it's easy to put together This is a much sturdier loft ladder than the uh, concertina one, which my son hated. He was he never wanted to go up the concertina one. He didn't like it. Didn't think it was sturdy, but this one's actually great. It's uh, solid, made out of wood. I'll put the details for the loft ladder down below if you're interested. But it is a really good one, and uh, it's well balanced as well. When you open the door, it doesn't just fall down. The springs hold it in that position, which is great. As you can see. The loft is an absolute mess and I don't know if I can go through again the same uh, same thing to, to board it out and to tidy it all up and paint it and everything. It's very similar to the loft in the other house as well. So you can see here as well we're getting rewired soon because um, we had an electrical surveyor and all the wiring seems to be original. It's all this black rubbery stuff from when the house was built in the 1950s. 
so that's going to get done but uh, a lot of junk to remove before then we're going to take I'm, I'm going to take all this wood out that's been put in up here by the previous owner and also remove all the loft insulation redo the loft insulation and board it out because you've got to have somewhere to put your Christmas tree basically but uh, I think this will be just for storage so the loft's a non-starter but what this house has that the other house didn't have is quite a sizable back garden and it's deceptively large actually so I've had a word and uh, a summer house with a railway room seems to be on the cards now this ladder here this step ladder is here for a reason because over this fence is a railway line this had nothing to do with buying the house by the way uh, the fact that the railway line here just means that the gardens are bigger than average in this particular row to give a little bit more distance from the railway line the railway line's been here for a long time uh, so the summer house will back onto the railway line essentially and then ultimately I'd like to have perhaps some uh, cameras mounted on the roof so I can keep an eye on the trains as they go past it's not the east coast main line which I'm pleased to say to be honest because it will probably be a little bit too noisy but uh, it is quite a busy line a lot of metro trains go past and uh, we get these as well which you can probably hear approaching now Metro, we get a lot of those going past. That's most of the traffic, to be honest. I was just about to stop filming when uh, I heard another train coming, and I thought I'll I'll leave it running. So that's it, it's going to take a while to do the summer house, but it has potential. So just a quick update, and until next time, take care. Bye for now.